Welcome everyone, today we are having another exciting review and it is Hourglass Ambient Lining Edit Unlocked Palette Review First of all, let me start this video by saying that it took me over two weeks to get this shipment I ordered this as soon as it was available online but unfortunately it has been a week, nothing happened, so it's been two weeks and I emailed Hourglass to see what is going on with my purchase and apparently there's been some delays or whatever with the products being shipped. So anyways, the same day that I reached out to them, my shipment has been sent. It took only a couple of days to arrive, so it felt like they forgot about me. <laughs> anyways, it's here. Before we start, I already have my makeup on, except for the product that we're gonna be using today from Hourglass. And if you want to see this video, this fall makeup look that I've done, I will link that down below. Before I start demo, I wanted to share some facts when it comes to this year's Hourglass holiday release. If you want to skip that one, you can just watch the whole demo. And if you want more information, here it is. This year with the Hourglass holiday collection, we have four different cover arts, but three different palettes. Just so if you get confused, we do have three color stories. First one, being in a jellyfish cover which is most suitable for the lighter skin tones then we have leopard cover which is more suitable for the medium and the snake one most suitable for the deeper skin tones even though I'm not quite sure how much you can maneuver between these palettes when it comes to depth. Now these palettes they do retail for $90 which is not it's not cheap but if we divide this by six because there are six product products in here then we get like fifteen dollars per product which technically it's not a lot considering the quality and the products that we got and also we cannot forget about this cover art because this is unique i <laughs> this is one of those palettes that i would love not just to stay in my drawer but to you know be able to showcase this one to stay somewhere where i can see it all the time these palettes they have 12 months shelf life made in italy if i can find any discount code i will make sure to post it down in a description box so you can take some money off of your purchase also this palette will be available just for a limited time only while the supplies last let's go quick to the cover arts so like i said three pa three palettes and four cover arts the one that i picked was the owl one and i put the leopard one which by default is the second one that our glass put on whole palette so it is in a second one and it looks like this and it comes in a packaging like this and again i'm loving loving this packaging also i wanted to mention once these palettes go out for a um, sephora or outside of the hourglass website i'm not sure if you will be able to customize your palettes so technically you can put the jellyfish palette in the leopard etc and also you can put the fourth cover out which is the owl one into whichever palette you want but we're gonna just talk um, when i will explain the shades i will just mention them as the hourglass put them initially in each cover art also these palettes are vegan and cruelty free and hourglass is actually donating five percent of the profit to a non-human rights project in their efforts to secure their fundamental rights for animals that's what it says on the website what you can get is a travel brush size with a snake on it which costs 55 dollars and it is suitable to for application of these palettes anyways let's go first and check the color story of the jellyfish so in a jellyfish including of course six shades first we have ambient lighting powder which is diffused light warm pale yellow that is the old version of a product that we already have then when it comes to blush it is a new blush which is rose fusion which is cool mauve shade then another new strobe lighting powder which is opal strobe light in pale rose gold shade also new bronzer called lunar bronze in matte warm bronze also we have lighting blush powder in ethereal light in cool translucent shade so in this palette we have three new shades now in the leopard 
palette, which is the second one, which is the one that I've got for myself right here. We have, unfortunately, I'll say only one new shade and that is this shade right here, Ethereal Flush Blush and this is Soft Peach Shade. For a disclosure, these all six shades are new to me because I didn't have a chance to try them out. So I'm really excited to try this formula and I just wanted to mention that Here's the thing, I know this will be, especially if you're a collector of Hourglass, you will probably skip this palette mainly because they're repeated shades. But in case, if you do love, for example, any of shades in here, for example, if you're in love with highlight or any of the blushes, which are, I believe, they're most one of the most successful product um, from the Hourglass, you would have to replace those shades either way because it's been a year since those were released and if you need a new one then you're gonna get it in this palette i get that we get excited when whenever we can try some new formula or the new shades but at the same time if something is like a holy grail to use for you in a makeup then again you need to re after one year you need to replace a new product since these are 12 months shelf life and from a business perspective as well i can understand that when brands if, if the brands are thinking that way as well because they're put putting their best sellers um, in these palettes again first we have dim light and let me you know what i'm gonna do swatches before we continue unfortunately when it comes to packaging it is i don't know it's just like it's missing resistance because this is what it does you know so if it's right here you can close like this i don't want to break anything like you, you got the full size mirror in here which is pretty great but other than that, um, yeah, that's one thing I wish it can be changed within this palette. Let's go. First is Finishing Powder Dim Light. And first I thought this one looks really warm toned. But actually, actually, oh. It does have like a peachy undertone. It's natural beige color. But for me, it leans like a little bit kind of a peachy i'm not sure and it is l luminous next we have and this is really pigmented next we have next we have metallic straw powder celestial strobe light oh i love the undertone yeah this one is gonna look really nice on the skin now this is a shade that's more interesting to me it is a blush mood exposure Ooh. pretty pretty shade yeah, it would make sense that this one is the one of the best sellers. This is Iridescent Rose Blush. Ooh, this is really, really pigmented. Could use this as the eyeshadow as well. <laughs> and now for the new one. I feel like when I look at these two in a pan, I think they are too close. So meaning probably on a the skin they will be, or maybe they're not going to look too similar. And then we have bronzer in a lustrous bronze light. So this is how all the shades look like. Now we're going to switch to a snake palette, which is probably going to be one of the most best sellers just because it has five new shades. And the only existing shade is powder, which is radi radiant light radiant light golden beige then all of the next shades are new which are coral haze which is a new blush then a new strobe lighting powder in infinite strobe light and new blush in sun beam and and another blush in mystique flush and also bronzer in solar bronze now i think for today's look i would use this shade right here and i will test also these other shades but i will just keep one shade as a blush today for this to complete this look also i wanted to mention that they say that i have photoluminance technology micro size color correcting particles that capture diffuse and soften surrounding light for skin that appears lit from within that sounds really interesting but hourglass has been known for having one of the finest powder 
products on the market before i continue i will just i have a little bit of a contour but i will i will apply a little bit more of a different undertone to it oh so i am using makeup by mario a uh, soft sculpt shaping stick in medium dark first let's go diving into this bronzer right here and i love to take the excess a little bit out of my brush especially if i'm not sure how this will work I'm not going too much just because for today's look um, the blushes are the one that are going to do a major difference. I'll say this shade is really soft, really natural and the powder looks really, really natural. I will use this one on the edges of my face also on this side yes these are definitely really really soft you know what let me try this bronzer as well a little bit in here on my nose area i'm loving how easy this is to work with they're so subtle and so fine i would say and this is how the bronzer looks like Okay, now for the blush, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here first. And I love the marble effect. And I'm going to start slowly and adding up more product as I go. This feel as they are really buildable. And I feel like these are going to be um, a little bit more, they're more on a pinkish side you know when it comes to undertones we do have like a plum rose and peach shade but yeah they are just as beautiful as they are for example these are not suitable for today's makeup look at least this blush which i thought this one will go the best with it but it looks beautiful and that's what we are here for and this is how mood exposure which is soft plum looks like now when you look at the shade in a pan you can see how different it transforms on a skin again that will depend on your skin but it's just it looks a bit different you know than what would you expect when you see it in a pan that's what i'm saying now i'm gonna go into ethereal flush which is soft peach peach shade and it is a new one so i want to try that one now this one is going to be really pigmented yeah, I just took a lot of excess off of my brush. For a medium or light, even for a light medium skin tone, these blushes, they are going to be right in your face when it comes to color. So you really have to be subtle and cautious while applying them. Even though this is a pretty shade and I'll apply a little bit more just so that we can see for the demo today. Um, this is not something I I feel like it suits me the best, like my undertone. Yeah, definitely not. I don't think I'm loving this one. I know, again, I put a little bit too much for the demo, but just... No! I love this one, though. This one is pretty, but this one is just a bit too much. And this one... Yeah, I don't like. <laughs> Let's go with a dim light and I will take a bigger brush. Okay, but now the thing is I need a smaller brush for this. For me, this is more pinkish than it is beige. Let me try this under my eyes. And as I mentioned so many times, I do love Charlotte Tilbury powder for the under eyes the most. But I want to try this one all over my face just to see where this powder will sit the best. Yeah, I definitely need cooler undertone. Okay, so far, not impressed, you guys. But I'm still waiting for the highlighter. Let's try it. Hopefully, it'll fix the whole exploitation of this palette. I don't know, maybe the, maybe the jellyfish would, I don't know, be better in some other shades and the snake in the um, other ones but okay let's try the highlighter we're gonna use a little brush that is a little bit weird this is from chanel 
I'm having like high expectations for at least for this one and and of course as I thought you do need to be cautious with the highlighter types like this you know the one that I really really liked was um, the cookie highlighter from Benefit and I would love to give that one a shot again I really love that one guys but it is super super glossy like gloss glass pigmented you know finish it's it's crazy okay this is beautiful <sighs> i'll just ignore this side oh my god anyways let's go and try it even here let's try and fix this when i add a little bit more more bronzer to diffuse this blush yeah, this is what we're gonna get. And this um, highlighter is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is, at the same time, it's hard to describe. It is so strong, but so subtle. Beautiful. I don't know what's gonna happen once I put the fixing spray. <sighs> what are we gonna do with this side, my God? Let's try highlighter, but I'm definitely taking this off, like, yeah. We figured, I don't like this side. Oh yeah, I had an idea. So to put, to put the powder, which is dim light all over the shade, just to diffuse it down. Yeah, this undertone, I don't know. This is a new shade, which trying to figure if this doesn't suit me or it's just in general like mist shade. Because when I saw it online, I was like, okay, I was a bit skeptical just because of the shade and undertone and everything. Now just thinking what is going to happen when I go with the dim light if it's going to change the opacity or the undertone that I would like potentially this more Oh no mm -mm. No I am back, I reapplied my foundation and put some of the contour and I put this bronzer again and I'm loving this one It is so subtle, natural looking um, Yeah, and it suits me really well Going with the last blush shade Kinda skeptical to go with it, honestly I think this shade is much closer even though it's marble as this one I think it's much closer with the undertone um with that one this one is described as a warm rose this one is much more subtle i'm looking if yeah this one has sheen in it same as the first one that i tried but i think we have kind of a similar situation here but again it is nice shade actually i'm loving this one so for all of you that are having our glass products the only new shade that you should be excited about is the one that probably wouldn't suit you let me go a little bit with the bronzer and now i'm gonna go in with the highlighter and one thing i have to say i have to um, hold my mirror all the time because if I do this this is what will happen and that's one thing that it's not convenient whatsoever so I think these two shades they're not that much of a difference they are different definitely but not that much and so this is mood exposure and this one is iridescent rose so my favorite blush is mood exposure and then this one i think um, at least in person suits the best today's look so that's one that i'm going to keep it's iridescent rose ethereal flush oh my god i think this blush again it is for me definitely it's such a miss but in general i don't know how it's going how this is going to suit and who is this going to suit honestly it is so vibrant but which is not a problem but the undertone is really you know really questionable how it's going to suit you you know what let me just um even everything and i will be right back with my final thoughts my makeup is completed it is done and i do have some thoughts when it comes to this palette this one caught me by surprise in a good and in a bad way let's start off with a what i loved and that is this bronzer right here it does have such a fine texture applies easily and you when i applied it i did apply a large amount and it still looks pretty fine it's not patchy even though my skin wasn't set it goes beautifully and nicely and i really loved it 
this bronzer went on so smoothly the undertone it's perfect if you are having lighter medium complexion i think you will love this one and the powder is it's beautiful even after application of a fixing spray this metallic straw powder celestial strobe light it is beautiful like i said at the same time it looks so reflective and so strong but again yet so subtle on the skin i love the undertone of it and this might be one of the favorites i think it is such a beautiful beautiful highlighter now for the blushes i'll say i do love these marble shades equally depending on what is going on with the rest of the eye makeup look and for today's look i did decide to go with this iridescent rose blush um two things that i don't like at the moment at least is this finishing powder i think i know it's described as a beige but for me it goes so much rosy and i don't know it's just I'll have to test this shade again just to see how can I incorporate this one but at the moment it's kind of a what should I do with it like I don't know not my favorite it is beautiful powder though but it's just the tone of it is what throws me off this blush however you saw my reaction I will try I'll give my best to incorporate that shade somewhere else with some other look somehow i don't want to just throw it out and say well, game over but for now for i could see from my first impressions this is something that i don't like fyi this second palette if you are owning all of the products already i truly think you should skip this one if your intention was to try the new blush shade because it uh, uh, I don't think this is something that would suit a lot of people, unfortunately. Maybe it's gonna look better, maybe on a lighter skin tone, but for me it's not working and it's not looking flattering on me whatsoever. And going back to the price, it is pricey palette. Again, when we divide everything that we have, I would say it is comprehensive why it is having such a price. And I'm not mad at it, it's just that now when... I saw it when I tried this new shade, it's just, it's not what I expected. And I didn't expect that with the finishing powder. Everything else I can work with and I do love, I'll say the most out of this leopard palette, I do enjoy the most highlighter and the bronzer. So I will leave this video at that. Honestly, I thought I'm gonna be more excited when I got this palette thinking i'm gonna get more from it but i'll say we're still in a testing time frame anyways you guys thank you for watching and i would love to hear your feedback what are, what are your thoughts when it comes to this holiday release from the hourglass did you pick up one if you did which one it was i'm do loving this um cover art so much this is definitely gonna go somewhere where i can look at this every day and without any further ado guys thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video hopefully i'll use this again bye